Chloe. I've known you for six years now. I uh, have known since the day I met you that I wanted you to be my friend and partner forever. And today I thought on this beautiful day in this beautiful place I would make it official and ask you to be my wife. Shush. I don't think they're dating, dog. I think he trying to teleport out the friend zone. What? I'm embarrassed for him. And the motherfucker putting flames in the in the hot air balloon ain't making it no better. Put it away. This is probably one of the cringiest things I've ever seen. But at the same time, I don't be feeling sorry when I see niggas put themselves in situations like this. Because you dug that hole for yourself. You allowed yourself to be putting that far in the friend zone. And at the same time, I really do need the backstory because there is no way in hell that she was leading you on that good that you bought a ring out. What is the backstory? We can insinuate things. It's bad to insinuate, but still, shit. Let's, let's try. Was he in the friend zone and at a moment of weakness, she let him clap the cheeks? And we had a situation where you give somebody an inch, they take a mile? Is that what's going on right now? Did she let you pet the monkey in the zoo? And now you think you Tarzan? Is that what happened? Fellas, learn to read the situation. Now he finna get a gym membership and turn into the Punisher. Like, where'd you get that? Your smile is beautiful. Oh Ooh. <laughs> what's your name? Sarah. Sarah. Well, where are you from? Arizona. Oh, you are? I live in Scottsdale. Oh, really? Yeah. Where do you live? In, like, you live in Arizona right now? Like, Phoenix no, area? I just moved here on Sundays. In Miami? Well, Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. Okay. I live part-time Brickell and then part-time okay. Arizona. So, Miami here. I'm like... Internet, can you help me find this young man in the background so I can give him his flowers? If you're not scoring, you need to be setting up an assist. This young man sacrificed his body, laying on the floor, to make sure that the defense was covered mm. so that our main man could score. Mm. Listen, Internet. If you ever find yourself in this situation, do what this young man did. I salute you. There should be a disclaimer that comes with that message. Because everybody ain't a good wingman. It's the truth. You might have somebody that sets you the right screen that allow you to score. But at the same time, you have somebody out there that'll set an illegal screen and get called for an offensive foul. Now, let's break this down with a dating part. You pull up on a young lady, you start having a conversation. You got a homeboy with you. He start talking to her friend. If his conversation game is on point, you're good. He's able to keep her distracted long enough so you can get the number and you can be on your way. But let's be honest. We all have those friends that talking isn't their strong point. And they might say something stupid to where their friend turns around and says, girl, we got to go. So my thing is, if you don't know how to talk. I just had the worst day in history. We rode in my car. He talked the whole time and didn't ask me any questions or let me speak. He was demanding to the waiter, which I thought was very rude. Um, he was speaking to random people. While we're sitting there, I'm trying to talk to him. He's just speaking to random people. But when the check comes, he looks at me. So I go ahead and pay the bill. And then we're walking back to my car. Now I have to drive him home, give him a bag. <laughs> Put him to bed. Hold on, 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 hold on. Wait, she trying to be funny. Is even like she talking about a child or whoever this man is, he hitting the bottom. <laughs> you feel me? Um, let me all right, let's let's, let's. time to myself because going on a date with a toddler is crazy. <laughs> 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 Look at my boy. <laughs> I just had the worst date in history. Bruh, I really thought she was talking about a grown man. But that is how kids be making you feel. You know, sometimes I go out with my son and I be like, bro, why are you so ungrateful? I'm not going to lie. I've realized something about my son. My son is very personable. He's very personable, bro. Talking about the devil. Listen to him. Listen to him. Hey, say Kim. Say Kim.
making all that damn noise. Yeah. Come here. Come here, boy. Oh, oh, hey, oh, cover your chest, man. Get, out here, we got your damn biscuit chest out. You sweat? I'm Why are you running around here like, like you in Baywatch? You too young for Baywatch. You don't know what Baywatch is. You are Baywatch. I'm a I'm Baywatch. Yeah. Well, back in the day, you know, back in the day, man, I had my my eight pack. Eight pack. Yeah, my eight pack. All right, say hi to the people. Hi, I'm working. <laughs> Am I working? Working doing what? Good you. Cheese. Record. That's what you ought to do. Record. Huh? Goodbye. I need people subscribe, like. They can't comment. see you. And comment. Uh, go ahead. Say it again. What you said? Uh, subscribe, like, and comment. Where you got that from? From you. <laughs> okay. Say less. <laughs> Don't say less. All right, bro. Bye. Let me let me finish my video. I yes. love you, big guy. Me too. Yeah, bro. So, I love that little dog. <laughs> anyway, I know it's about 25,000 of you guys that watch these videos that still haven't subscribed. Hit that subscribe button. Come on now. We almost at 100K, man. We almost at 100K. And follow me on the gram. Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> It's been a minute since I said my favorite catchphrase. White folks are fearless. Police for what? What are you talking about? Y'all see this dude? You've you been following me for 30 I'm minutes. You know that's illegal, you. right? I'm trying to talk Man, to I'm you. Man, I'm over here. She over here tripping, bro. I'm trying to get up out of here, bro. She tripping, bro. Why is you doing? Well, stop because playing with me, man. You could have hurt somebody. And man. you can't even look at me. Police for what? What are you talking about? Because when I see videos like this, my, my black kings, even my white kings, my black and my white kings, if you ever find yourself in a predicament like this, I need you to take a step back and assess the situation. She might be telling you that she want to take a trip to Stroke City. She just don't know how to ask. Now, I ain't saying go out there and find yourself in a P. Diddy type predicament. No, but just assess the situation. Calm her down. Say, hey, what's going on? What, what's wrong? Are you okay? Honestly, you, you want to talk about it? Are you okay? To be honest though, I don't know, man. If you out here acting wild like that with me, I don't know if I want to take you to Stroke City. It might come back and haunt me. Uh, Yo. Yo. Nice Thanks, man. Is that thing fast? It's pretty fast, yeah. How much horsepower are you pushing? Like 500. <laughs> That's nothing. That's so slow. That's pretty quick. You want to see fast? I'll show you fast. Oh, so cool, I drive a big microwave. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> he tight. He tight. My man said it's so cool, I drive a big microwave. Tesla drivers is right up there with BMW drivers for me, bro. Because these fucking Teslas are fast as hell for no reason. I remember when I had my V6, my V6 Challenger. Now, the one thing about people that have V6 Challengers and V6 Mustangs and V6 Camaros... They be thinking that they car faster than it actually is. And I was one of those people. The first year I got my car, we took a road trip to Florida. I've always seen Teslas on the street, but I've never thought to race a Tesla. You know, I never really paid attention to them like that. I didn't even know they were that fast. On our way to Florida, a Tesla got next to me. And he was trying me. And in my mind, I'm like, bro, I know for sure you not you not trying me and that goddamn you know them shits to me, them shits is ugly, bro. He had the little hatchback, the same thing that was dig that. So I'm like, I know you're not trying me right now. So I took off on his ass. Well, I thought I took off on his ass. And then I got embarrassed. I got embarrassed. But shit, I got my RT now and um, I'm still getting embarrassed. 